Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. The uh, bright week is already moving along. We are gathering tonight for Vespers of Bright Wednesday. So uh, we'll begin in just a few short moments, but again, just want to reiterate what I shared at the end of uh, Monday's Vespers, that each day this week we take one of the eight tones of the Octoicus a resurrectional stichira. So we're literally going through all the weeks of the uh, Saturday cycle uh, during this week, all these days being the day of Pascha itself. So we thank you for joining us. Please join us in singing praises unto our God who is risen from the dead. God cleanse me a sinner, have mercy upon me. God cleanse me a sinner, have mercy upon me. God cleanse me a sinner, have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We offer you incense, praise the Lord, once we spiritual pray to save upon him. We offer you the Lord, as we pray. Grace of the Holy Spirit. Christos, Christos, honesty, et necron. Thanato, Thanato, Patisaske, Tisentis me, Masizoin, Carisamenos, Christos vos creseis me. So let them vanish as wax melts before the fire. Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb bestowing life. So the sinners will perish before the face of God, but let the righteous be glad. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb bestowing life. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb bestowing life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb bestowing life, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb bestowing life. Christ is risen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For his beatitude, our most blessed metropolitan teak, our loyal companions of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priests of the doctrine of Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For a seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. <laughs> To you, O Lord, for unto you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the fourth tone, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, hear me, O oh Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O oh Lord, let my prayer arise in your sight as and let Christ is risen. Christos was crescent. Christos and Christ. Bring my soul out of prison and we give thanks to your name. The righteous will Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. We glorify your resurrection on the third day, O Christ God, by always honoring your life, creating cross. By it you renewed the corrupted nature of man, O Almighty One. By it you renewed our entrance to heaven, for you are good and beloved of man. If you, O Lord, shall not iniquities, Lord, who could stand, but there is forgiveness with you. You, you look the tree's verdict of disobedience, O Savior, by being voluntarily nailed to the tree of the cross, by descending to hell, O Almighty God. You broke the bonds of death. Therefore we adore your resurrection from the dead, singing in joy. Glory to you, O all-powerful Lord. For your name's sake I wait for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. 
You smash the gates of hell, O Lord, and by your death you demolish the kingdom of death. You deliver the race of men from corruption, granting to the world life in corruption and great mercy. From the morning watch of the night, from the morning watch of the Israel, hope on the Lord. Come, O people, let us sing of the Savior's resurrection on the third day. By it we have been freed from the unbreakable bonds of hell. By it we have received life and incorruption. Save us by your resurrection, O life creating and almighty Savior. Glory to you. Over the Lord there is mercy, with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Angels and men sing of your resurrection, on the third day O Savior. By it the ends of the earth have been illumined, by it we have been delivered from bondage to the enemy. Save us by your resurrection, O life creating and almighty Savior, glory to you. Praise the Lord of nations, praise him, O peoples. You shattered the gates of brass and destroyed the chains of death, O Christ God. You raised the fallen human race, O Lord, risen from the dead, glory <coughs> to you. For his mercy is confirmed and us in the truth of the Lord endures forever. O Lord, your begetting from the Father is timeless and everlasting. Your incarnation from the Virgin is beyond words and understanding. Your descent into hell is terrible for the devil and his angels. You have trampled on death, rising on the third day and granting men in corruption and great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The, the prophet David was a father of the Lord through you, O Theotokos. He foretold in songs the one who worked wonders in you. At your right hand stood the queen, your mother, the mediatrix of life. Since God was freely born of her without a father, she, he wanted to renew his fallen image, make corrupt in passion. So he took the lost sheep upon his shoulder and brought it to his father, joining it to the heavenly powers. Christ, who has great and rich mercy, has saved the world, O Theotokos. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God, and giver of life. Therefore all the world glorifies you. all and your spirit wisdom the evening proclaim and honors in the eighth tone i cry aloud to god aloud to god that he may hear me i cry aloud to god aloud to god that he may hear me in the day of my trouble i seek the lord 
I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, that he may hear me. My soul refuses to be comforted. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, that he may hear me. Thy way, O God, is holy. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, that he may hear me. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, that he may hear me. Lord, say, uh, uh, let us... Uh, let us say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his beatitude, our most blessed metropolitan teak on all companions of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the President of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable holy o o founders of our holy house, for all of our fathers, fathers, brothers, and <clears throat> sisters, the Orthodox part of this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord, especially the servants of God, the mighty Archpriest Basil, the Archpriest Peter, Lynn, and Rana. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, pardon and remission of sins for all the brethren of our community, for those who are sick and suffering, especially for the mighty Archpriest Michael, the priest John, Mokrishki, Natasha, Anastasia, Cynthia, Elizabeth, Delphi, Mara, and Virginia, the servants of God, <clears throat> Robert, Victoria, Charles, Elaine, Maria, Lucy, David, Carol, Anna, Robert, John, Maria, Stephen, Stacy, Anna, Catherine, Natalie, Kathleen, Elena, Lloyd, Matthew, Alexander, Harrison, and Gabriella, for the servants of God suffering from the coronavirus, Lauren and Frank, Sarah and Angela, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works and are holding our venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, Again, we pray that the Lord our God in his mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our Diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an archpastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith and loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God and love mankind, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, Almighty Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our crying, repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains, ministering to them. We pray for those developing and distributing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. 
enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have said our hope upon you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever, despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant O the Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a garden of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant O the Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant O the Lord, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant O the Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant O the Lord, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful. And for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Unto you, O Lord, for you are a good God and love mankind, and to you be ascribed glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. O Lord our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon <clears> your inheritance. For if you, the awesome judge, yet loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks. Awaiting not help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the majesty of thy kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. <clears throat> By ascending the cross, O Lord, you and all our ancestral curse. By descending to hell, you free the eternal prisoners, granting incorruption to the human race. Therefore, in songs, we glorify your life creating and saving resurrection. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Today a sacred Pascha is revealed to us, a new and holy Pascha, a mystical Pascha, a Pascha worthy of veneration, a Pascha which is Christ the Redeemer, a blameless Pascha. A great Pascha, a Pascha of the faithful, a Pascha which is open for us the gates of paradise, a Pascha which sanctifies all the faithful. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish. 
Come from that scene, O oh, women bearers of glad tidings, and say to Zion, Receive from us the glad tidings of joy of Christ's resurrection. Exalt and be glad, and rejoice, O Jerusalem, seeing Christ the King who comes forth from the tomb like a bridegroom in procession. So the sinners will perish before the face of God, but let the righteous be glad. The murmuring women at the break of dawn drew near to the tomb of the life giver. There they found an angel sitting upon the stone. He greeted them with these words, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Why do you mourn the incorrupt amid corruption? Go proclaim the glad tidings to his disciples. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Pascha of beauty, the Pascha of the Lord, a Pascha worthy of all honor is on for us. Pascha, let us embrace each other joyously. Pascha, ransom from affliction, for today is from a bridal chamber. Christ has shone forth from the tomb and filled the women with joy, saying, Proclaim the glad tidings to the apostles. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. This is a day of resurrection. Let us be illumined by the feast. Let us embrace each other. Let us call brothers, even those that hate us, and forgive all by the resurrection. And so let us cry, Christ is risen from the dead. Trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing light. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing light. Christ is risen from the dead. Trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Wisdom, Father, bless. Christ our God, the existing is blessed always, now and ever, and unto <laughs> ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians. Unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos we magnify you. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. And upon those in the tombs he saw being light. May he who is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most fair mother, through the power of the precious and light creating cross of our holy glorious and laudable apostles, of the holy and righteous ancestor God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Christos was Christ. Al Messiah come. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the 
Tours bestowing wine, Christos was blessing his melody, Smertius mer poprog, Isur si pogrobe si Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down the pointed, and upon those in the tombs be sowing life. And unto us he has given eternal life. Let us worship his resurrection on the third day. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. On Thursday night we will be gathering for our final Vespers of the academic year with our OCF community. And so the next time we'll be gathering for Bright Week Vespers will be Friday evening at 5.30. So please plan to join us and again continue to sing praises unto our God who is risen from the dead. Have a blessed evening.